Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to talk a little bit about something very important I have been thinking for a very long time to share. I know this is totally a different type of video, so I hope it is going to be something very informative and I hope it resonates you to do something good about your future and about your career as a programmer or non-programmer. So I hope you enjoy it. So firstly, I am going to briefly talk about myself and then we will continue to the main point. I am a self software developer. I live in Sydney, Australia and I have no college or university degree. So that is just about me. Now the important point is here, so many people ask me about what you do and how do you program and stuff like that. So today I'm going to talk about all of those things and I will share some, some of my experience. About one year ago I came to Australia and when I came to Australia people said you have to go to college because you don't have a degree, you have to go to uni. I went to college for six months and I found nothing. Not because university or college is not something useful, because for the past few years, like three to five years, I have been working very hard. That's why it was something very easy for me. When I was in school, I started programming in 2012 and then it was the starting of my journey. In 2012, I started learning programming and in 2013, I started teaching it in a, a computer academy. And then that is how I started. Like in 2015, I was teaching university students. I was helping them to build their final project. That's why I learned. When I came to Australia, I started my YouTube channel, now I teach hundreds and thousands of people. I didn't know like when you have a community of people how much good people they are and how much they support you. I was making video just for fun and just as a hobby like let's say let's make a video about this thing and now I think I can influence a lot of people and I have 10k subscribers now so I don't count them as a subscriber I think of them as a community and as a friend. And that's why I make video free content. That is how I can make influence. That is how that is uh, how I can help people. So the important point is here. So many people I have seen in my life, different types of student, college student, university student, people who come from school and stuff like that. And most of them start with a full energy, but they give up at some point in their life. So they have something in common. I'm going to share it with you. So most of them give up in the middle or at the end or in the beginning. So what is the thing that they are missing that they give up and they do not become a programmer? So I have seen the students who are coming to the class on the first day and saying, Sir, I want to give you as much money as you want. Just teach me alone. I don't want to teach. I don't want to learn with other students because I was teaching as a group and they were saying, I want to learn it alone. I will pay you more because other students might not come to class, they might be lazy, I don't want to do like that. But in the first week they give up, or in the second week. So what are they missing? There is one thing very important that I am going to share with you. They all have something in common which is called inconsistency. They are not consistent, they are not persisting on what they are doing. They do it for a few days and then they give up, like most of us who do that. They have a lot of energy in the beginning and in the middle, they give up. And that consistency, if you have it, you will become a programmer perfectly. If you don't have it, not start in, in from the beginning. You know what? Sometimes I, I, I search for something for three days and then I write one line of code. And that one line of code is going to fix my problem. To find out that line of code will take three or four days. Do you have that much patience? Can you wait or can you search about this that much? If you have that patience, I recommend you program it, otherwise it is not something you should do. I just want to say programming is not difficult, nor it is easy, so you have to work harder. And if you are a programmer, listen, your job is not going to 9 to 5 job working for other companies. I do it now. So after college, when people said you don't have degree, you have to go to college. After I left college, I found a job in the first week. It was two month contract, then I went there. After that, I looked for another job. In the, uh, in the first week again, I found a job in one of Australian university, And they didn't ask me for any degree. All they asked was the experience and the skill I have. And I had a very good portfolio of projects I have done for others. And when I showed them, they didn't ask for any degree. You know what? Now, I'm not proud of working from nine to five job, but I'm working where I'm learning. I left the university job, it was a big company, one of the international universities who had 
one of the branches in Australia. So I was working for them, but after three months I left the job because it was not challenging. Because what we were doing was just designing a landing page or designing an advertising page in HTML and CSS. That was not what I should do. That was so easy. That's why I left the job. I found another small company which are people passionate and they value your work. They have challenging work. We have different types of projects and you develop every day. The other subject I'm going to talk about is if you are a programmer, you have a magical hand. You may not believe it. When I was a child, I was watching a lot of Bollywood movies. People who shake their hand doing some magic. I was thinking, is there any way to become a magician? Like shaking your hand and something appear and something disappear. Now when I see, yes, that was a dream. But now if I put my hand on the keyboard, I can create anything I want. Because I have the creativity, because I have the power. Nowadays, power is in the hand of programmers. They can create something that can change the world. You see the top companies, they have the top programmers. That is how it works, like everything is in digital. So if you are a programmer, I don't tell you leave, uh, leave your job, don't do that. I just want to tell you it's not a side business. Beside what you do, it's not a side business. So in the 10 years from now or 15 years from now, you have your own business. You know what? People give up on their own business because it, the, their business didn't generate a few thousand dollars in the first month and they work for 40 years for other companies and they, get, they just get the fixed amount at the end of the month. Do you think that's worth it? It doesn't matter how much you love your job. I love my job. I love coding. I love programming. But at some point in your life, you are going to say, this is not what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. So make sure you are prepared for that day. So I'm going to share some of the things with you. It's not the business. As a programmer, you have the power. You can create a software, you can create a service, you can create anything and then you can sell it. The, the most important thing is sell something. Sell a service, sell assets, sell a product. Don't sell your time. It, there is nothing wrong with selling your time if you are getting something in return. When you work for other company, you are selling your time. I mean, at some point in your life, you will end up saying, well, time is more than money. That is when you value your time. So don't sell your time. Create something. If you are a programmer, create something, solve a problem in the world. It is not only about doing a nine to five job and stuff like that. Practice in public. You know what? My English is not good. And I'm not a good public speaker. So what? Should I refuse to share my knowledge? Should I refuse to share my work? Heck no! Should I wait for the day until I become good? Of course not! You know what? There are many people I know who think Tony Robbins is a bad public speaker. You know Anthony Robbins who is a speaker, I don't know if you know him or not. But there are so many people who say he's a bad public speaker. And if you believe he is a bad public speaker and he stopped doing what he do, he was not here now. Just want to say, as a programmer, don't stick in the job you have. Find a good company to work, and beside the company, you start your own business. Sell something, sell assets, product, service, whatever you want. Don't sell your time. That's it. That's all I, I wanted to share in this video. So I hope it has been informative and you learned something. And see you in the next video.